Okay, so here we have the Mono Price 10 by 6.25 inch graphics tablet. I have wanted to animate for a long time, but I never had the tools to be able to. So, I finally bought this thing. It only costs 34 dollars on Jet.com, link in the description. And I hear it's a very good replacement for the Huion H610. I hear it's the exact same thing, just $20 cheaper, so you know, I got this and I, I'm, I'm gonna, after the unboxing, I'm gonna make a review to, to see if it's actually the same thing. So now I'm gonna start with the unboxing. See, it's the force, it's magical, it's amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut open the tape. Alright, yeah, I got it. Okay, so just in the bubble wrap, some more bubble wrap. More bubble wrap, and here is the box itself. So here we have the box itself, and you can see that it looks very similar to the Huion H X10. Anyways, um, so now I'm just gonna open it, and the first thing is the the tablet itself, which I'm just gonna take out and work on that later. Just put it on the side here. And here, you, under it, there's the driver and the manual that it comes with. It's a nice little back thing. Okay, here is the the pen itself, which is very cool. And I uh, will do that later. Okay. Here is it comes with a battery. It's pretty nice. Just getting it out. Here, here is the battery that comes with. This is um, for the pen, I presume. Okay. And here is the wire that goes into the tablet to go to the computer to connect it. And here is the uh, base of the pen holder, which has four extra pen nibs on, on here and here that you can take out. Let's see, here's a pen. Maybe we should go back in. Okay. Then, over here, is the pen holder, which you can just uh, connect onto this thing. And you just put the pen like this. So, like that. Anyway, so that is um, all the stuff in the box. Now let's actually, you know, review them. Take out the uh, graphics tablet of the little baggie. The first thing I notice is that it's very smooth. Here's an LED light that turns on when it's on. Here are the eight customizable buttons that have uh, preset functions. They have little icons on them, like here's a zoom in, here's a zoom out, here's a pencil, here's an eraser, I believe this is an undo, but the camera can't really see it, but that's what it is. Um, and here are another 16 customizable button thingies that you can press with a pen. And also, it has a matte finish, so you don't see any fingerprints on it, which is very cool. And on the side over here is the mini USB hole that you plug the wire, this wire in here and you plug this side into the computer so that you know you can actually draw what is on the computer and if I turn it around it's just you know normal but the, over here on, on the corners there are rubber grips so that it doesn't slide away you know when you put it down on the table I can't, I'm trying to move it, you know, it's a little bit hard and now we're moving on to the pen so here is the pen and you can see on the back there is a little like a normal pen clicker which turns it on and off like a normal pen would do over here there's an, another nib so that technically comes with five nibs pen nibs and here there are two customizable buttons um, which I which I, I think that um, undo and right click would be very good options to utilize and um, the part you know where you put your fingers there's a little rubber grip so it doesn't like you know slide away or it's very easy to hold. Now to put in the battery, you just gotta open this up, and in here you slide it um, minus down, and then you just close it back up, and then it should work. Okay, so here is the driver, and I will put it into the computer right now. Okay, so now the driver popped up, so I'm going to open it, and since I'm using a Mac, I'll open the Mac driver. But if you're using Windows, you should open setup.exe. So if the driver didn't work like it didn't for me, you go to uh, this page here, link in the description, and you just scroll down to the bottom, and you just press drivers for Mac OS X if you have Mac or Windows, whatever you need. And then downloads, and then you can press X. And then, in the downloads folder, you will open this and then you will open this now if this pops up which says security preferences whatever then you open system preferences and then you press privacy and security security and privacy and then this was black opening because it's not from an update then you press open anyway 
and then it will open anyway. Then you can X this out and X this out, and then you're done. Then you press continue, and then you press install. And then you close this, and then this it opens. Now I have an idea of what I want already, so I'm gonna go mouse right B. I'm gonna keep that to mouse right button for the second button. And the first button, I'm gonna make keyboard key, and I'm gonna make this shift because I think that's a good idea. I don't know, maybe, 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 you can do whatever you want. Now, advanced settings, if you click that, that is where you can customize your keys. Now, if you open soft key enable, then you will be able to customize the 16 keys over here. Now, the default for key 1 is command Z, and for key 2 over here is E4 eraser, and over here, key 3 is B for brush, and then key 4 is for is command that for, you know, zooming in, and command that for zooming out and then key 6 is to, to this thing to make the size of the brush bigger and then to make the size of the brush smaller and then key H for hand to move around the canvas that you're drawing on now since I am using the Dvorak keyboard and not the QWERTY keyboard it messes it up and it's, it's weird so instead of the command Z and then all these things I'm gonna change it to what the QWERTY keyboard button is where the Z is on the Dvorak keyboard if that made any sense if it didn't, I'm sorry now, I have a paper here, I wrote it down because it got confusing for Z it is gonna be the uh, this thing, so command that thing and then E would be replaced with the D and then key B would be replaced with the N and the equals plus would be replaced with the that and then the key 5 would be replaced with the that and then key 6 would be replaced with the that and then the 7 would be replaced with the that and then key 8 would be replaced with the J the buttons here still do the same function it's just that since I'm using the Devora keyboard, it messes it up and it thinks that that what I'm pressing is really a different key because it goes on the QWERTY keyboard for some reason, and it doesn't it doesn't change or whatever. Now I'm gonna make these three for the three selection tools. So this would be V, but since I'm using the Devora keyboard and this thing messes it up, it's gonna be that. And for this would be this is A and because the Vora keyboard the A is the same place as the QWERTY A and now for that it would be X and four I'm gonna I would make delete and five I would make a five for you know to make a new keyframe I mean to make a new blank frame and then six makes a new keyframe and seven makes a blank keyframe and then eight makes something a symbol now this I would make the scroll between frames so it would be it would be this if I'm using the QWERTY keyboard and it, but since it messes me up it's gonna be W I can't and then S10 it would be it would be this but it messes me up so I, I have to do E instead and now I'm gonna leave these five blank I don't know to do them yet I will eventually put stuff in it but right for now I'm gonna make this command tab and that is that. Now I'm gonna leave pressure sensitivity in the middle and now I'm gonna X this out. By the way, in applications folder, this will appear, this pen input folder. If you open it, you will see this. This thing, if you open it, you can uninstall the driver. If you open this, you will get um, the thing, this thing, which I had before. And if you open this, it does exactly what it says, pen pressure test, and I will do that later when I actually install, when I plug this in. And for now, I'm going to X this out, and I will restart the computer, and you won't even notice the difference because power of editing. Okay, now that it is restarted, the computer, now I can plug this in. So I will take the wire out of its bindings. And uh, yeah, so I take this end and I put it in here. And then I take the other end and I plug it into the computer. 
Okay, it is plugged in, and now, as you can see, this thing, you click it on, and then if you hover over it, it should move. It does. Wow. Hovering over it, it moves. Coolest thing. Also, if you te it can teleport. Teleport, because it, it's this is like this is like the screen. So if you put it over here, and then you go like, over here, it will teleport. So we coolest thing ever and let's see how far I can go up okay so this is the farthest I can go up if you can actually see I don't know how much that is it's like it's half an inch and if I click and drag it makes the thingy that's pretty cool if I press the second button here oh I made a new folder I didn't mean to do that I will no now if I right click it oops it's a very a little bit slow right click and move to trash Right click. Oh, it's very fast. So it's not really slow. I, I was hallucinating. Sometimes you gotta keep on holding right click, and sometimes you don't. I don't know when to do when when. But now I'm not keeping right click anymore, as you can see. So weird. Ah, ah, ah. Not used to this at all. You see, you see over here this black thing. I'm trying to this on the side of the gray. In between the bezel and the gray part, there's a little black thing. I didn't realize this is part of the screen. So it's like weird because I try to go the edge of the screen and and since I thought this is the edge of the screen I see it's not reached yet so I try to go back to do that like you would do for a mouse but then it teleports me and it's very weird so after playing around for a while let us open Adobe Animate and see how this works oh also I, f I didn't even see so when you when you hover the mouse it, the, the green light here starts flashing and if you click the green light turns on when you click but if I click this off it doesn't do anything click it on it does something cool I'm gonna press the B and I'm gonna make it bigger by pressing this button it should work and it does wow it makes it bigger if I draw oh wow this is this is unreal now this is just drawing. I'm not even like this is. You can do this with a normal mouse, right? But it's you know it's easier with the with the with the with the pen. But what's cool about this? It has 2048 pressure levels. So if I go down here, use pressure, and I click this, and now when I draw, you see that? If I go lightly over over it, it just draws little things. And the more hard I click on it, the more pressure I put on it. The, the the big the thicker the line gets. That's the coolest thing ever. This is cool. This is really cool. Oh my god, I can't I can't get over this. Wow. And this should command Z, this undoes. Yeah, perfect. Let's go back and leaving it clicked won't do anything so that's a thing to know also now that I'm here if I press one over here as you can see it, it, it clicks this selection tool and two clicks this selection tool and three clicks this selection tool so now if I have the free transform tool on and I just you know select this and I made four be delete so if I click that boom it is gone I'm gonna press B and I'm just gonna draw something again and I'm gonna press eraser and then you can see that it erases so that is pretty cool now back to here I'm gonna open pen pressure test and I'm gonna show you that I can draw over here this is using like the pressure right uh, and this black line shows how much pressure I'm putting on the pen so I can do that and then I can wipe everything I can take the green I can take the blue, and I can take the red. I can make the coolest thing ever, and this just you know it's a, it's like basically just to test the the pressure. Oh my god, it's like it's like using an inky pen. It's, if you let go a little bit, it just ruin it just ruins your entire paper, and it just you 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 let it get soaked in ink. That's what it looks like. This is my amazing clown. You like it? No! What just happened? No! Isn't this clown just amazing? 
Okay, I'm done with that. That's all I wanted to show you with that. This, this, this is, this is cool. I'm, I, I'm just, I can't. I know this picture is blowing your mind. Now, I've had a lot of fun with this pen, actually. So I've spent, you know, a lot of time on this pen here. And, you know, I, I got used to it. Obviously, in the beginning, it was a little bit hard to get used to. It took me, like, a few seconds. But, no, I, I got it. It's, it's very good. But there's one thing I forgot to show you is that to remove over here to remove the tip you're not supposed to do you're not supposed to do what I did in the unboxing video you're not supposed to just grab it out you're not supposed to open this up either and instructions says and this comes with a thing so in here there's a metal piece you have to take out and with this you're supposed to well, first I'll turn it off you're supposed to you see there's a little uh, in thingy here you're supposed to you're supposed to grab it like this and that's how you're supposed to take it out which I guess if you have nails, it's the same exact thing. If you have good nails, you know, if you don't bite them. Anyway, there's one more thing I forgot to say, which is the clicker here. It feels a little cheap. Like, you know, the clicker feels a little bit cheap. Sometimes it, it won't go back, pop back up, or it's just sometimes it won't click in. It's just, it feels a little bit like it's cheap, you know, cheap plastic. And it doesn't even, like a real pen here, I have a real pen. This, it feels like a fake pen. I don't know, it just feels fake. I don't know why they couldn't just make it move. Anyway, so I have had fun um, playing around with this. Also, this was my first impressions on this, but in order for it to be more reliable and more, you know, truthful, I will come back when I have done an animation with this um, tablet, and then I will continue the review and finish it by giving my opinions of it. Okay, so it's been two weeks since I got the tablet, and now I'm gonna finish the review. So, I know I said this before, and I'll say it again, this clicker is super annoying. I hope it's just mine. I hope that if you get this, that yours is gonna be better. Also, I changed it. I took away that, that button number one here is shift, because it doesn't really work. If, let's say, this is command Z, if I shift this, it doesn't, it doesn't, shift I don't know why it doesn't work so uh, what I did was I kept both right clicking out and whenever I figure out whatever I'll uh, change it then also a thing I noticed that's pretty cool is that if you put your hand like this in between the nib and the uh, the, the great screen thingy it, it acts as if you press it so that's pretty cool overall I gotta say this is a very good product especially for $34 this is exactly the same thing as the as the Huion HX10 and that one cost $60 and as I said link is in the description and I hope you get this because don't waste your money on any Wacom products or anything that's basically exactly the same thing just a lot you know more expensive so yeah this was my review if I missed anything or if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will get to you so uh this is me signing off get him we were in the border for like five minutes, and now we're gonna go jet boating. So yeah, jet boating. <laughs> we're about jet boating now. Over here, you can see the the ships over here.